Hi everybody, welcome back to Project Spatial. I am Katie Scheuer and today we are going through five simple steps to help you get an internship through online networking. Internships and experience are a key to getting that first position and getting that first GIS job. And it's getting kind of hard to find them. With social distancing and all of the extra regulations and budget cuts and people getting laid off, it's extremely hard to find internship opportunities. But with these five steps, you'll be able to create your own internship opportunity from your online network. Now I wanted to give you guys a very special announcement right at the beginning of this on July 3rd at 10 a.m. Central Time, I will be going live and you do not want to miss this live session. First off, it's the first time I'm going live. I am going to be giving you the exact steps you need to get started with your GIS job search and figuring out exactly do you have everything that you need to be able to apply for positions. If you are getting started with your search and you're looking for that first GIS job and you want to know how I break down job descriptions, then you're definitely going to want to tune in to that live event. Step number one, you need to have an online network. Now, this is kind of obvious. You can't pitch an idea to somebody. You can't get an internship from somebody if you don't know anybody. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is jump into GIS user groups, jump into um, your state organizations, your government organizations, and find who's doing GIS in those organizations and also look on LinkedIn. So if you're interested in something more like imagery or you want to get into the private sector and do business analysis with GIS, then jump on LinkedIn and find somebody that is either semi-local or somebody that you think you can easily connect with online through LinkedIn. Now step number two, after you go through and find that person that you think could give you an internship, you are going to figure out what organization they are in with and you are going to dive into their industry. I want you to do a little bit of research and figure out what is going on in that industry right now, what is particular about that workplace that they are doing. So is there something they have mentioned in the news recently? Is there some community outreach they've done recently? Is there something they're targeting their customers with? What's going on with them right now so you can kind of get a pulse of what their current events might be? So step number three, I want you to go to the RGIS Solutions Gallery and I will put a link down in the description below. And while you're down there, make sure to sign up for my newsletter so you don't miss that. But you wanna to go to the Solutions Gallery and then you will be able to find a solution that fits the industry for the person that you are targeting. So whoever you're going to reach out to, whatever industry they're working in and after the research that you've done, Done, you want to go to a, the solutions gallery and find a solution that makes sense. And if you are doing your research and you come up with a project idea of your own, then go for that idea. Figure out what could this person need? What is something that I can do for them that would allow them to better their business, that would allow them to reach out to their community more, that would allow them to do some more communication or discover something new. So step number four, you're going to write down all of the resources that you might need. Do you have software that you're going to need? Do you have data that you're going to need? A computer, a GPS unit, whatever you think you will need to implement the solution, you need to have that list down because if this person says yes to your offer, you wanna make sure that you can give a follow-up of all all the things that you're going to need either from them or things that you're going to have to collect yourself to make this actually happen. Step number five is actually contacting the person. You have to contact them and pitch to them. This is an example of what I want you to send them. Hi, blank. I found your information on wherever you found them. I am new to GIS and looking for opportunities to expand my experience. I was wondering if I could work on blank solution for you. If not, would there be a different project I could do to bring value to you? Thank you for considering blank. The reason that I like this formula is because it is short, it is to the point, and you are offering value. If you just randomly contact somebody through your online networking, if you don't know them really well, and you're just like, hey, do you have an internship for me? They're probably gonna be like, um, no, I don't. By offering value up front and showing, hey, I've done some research, I know that this solution is something that A, you don't have yet, and B, could it be a value to you, and I know that I'm going to be able to achieve this for you, 
shows that A, you're going to go and do the work for them. You're going to take the initiative and it's gonna be less responsibility on them for creating this internship for you. Once they respond to you, if they say, yes, I love this solution, let's see if we can work something out, figure out the details and make sure you can deliver. If they say, no, I'm sorry, this is not the right opportunity for me, you either say graciously thank you or you might want to follow up with, hey, is there another project I really would like some experience in your industry? I'm really excited about blah, 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 blah. You know, say something that's going on with our company and you can follow up that way. And if they still shoot you down, it's time to move on to somebody else. Make sure to join me on July 3rd. And if you like this video, give it a like and make sure to hit subscribe. I will see you guys soon. Bye.